under a truck race on Mount Panorama. Um, this race was absolutely ridiculous because the vehicles are very large, um, underpowered for the circuit, um, and it's a really narrow circuit as well, so the overtaking is very um, few and far between, albeit trying to keep it clean. Um, in seventh, or well, it's up in sixth place there. Um, going up kind of two abreast into, uh, into the next corner up the hill. Um, you can see it's really bumper to bumper as we go up there. Um, do try and squeeze in front of uh, that lorry there. I just misjudged that side. They gave me a little bit of a nudge. Um, I did receive a ram <laughs> from somebody. Um, was just really looking forward to this spacing out a bit so we could actually get some um, good racing. There was just a lot of pushing and shoving um, throughout the entire race really, which we'll see some examples of. Um, places are changing almost every single corner. But with this many vehicles you kind of expect a little bit of uh, contact of this nature, but later on in the race when it spaced out there was some real malicious um, crashing so to speak so it managed to get up into sixth position by the top of the hill um, and then starting obviously the descent which is one of the most challenging bits um, I find anyway uh, particularly in large heavy vehicles that uh, you're trying to get the brakes to work on coming down these hills into these corners without skidding across into the barrier. Uh, we did a fairly good job of getting down through those corners um, onto the really long straight at the end, which um, if you've not got a slipstream of the uh, car in front, it's really difficult. So it's just uh, foot to the floor and hope for the best. And hopefully get a good exit out of the next corner. Um, or so we were hoping for. So we start the break, about 100, and wallop, off we go, onto the grass. Thank you very much um, for somebody who just didn't want to break. Thanks, Drewek. It's the first of many. It would have been more helpful if it had uh, given me a bump down the actual straight so that we could have caught up with fifth place together, um, but instead, trying to uh, shovel us off on the corner to try and just gain that extra position. If it had been a bit smarter, we probably would, both would have been on the podium by the end of this race, um, but it was not to be. Back up the hill again, so this is my favorite part of the circuit. Obviously coming up the hill, you're at the mercy of the power of the truck. Um, direct behind us the slipstream, which is why he's uh, obviously gaining. Um, again, a little bit of a nudge there, we would have both been pushed further towards the fifth place, um, but instead um, opts to uh, try and uh, cut me off at the corner, um, overshoots it and hits the barrier, um, and we're, we're no, both no, no better off for that. Um, fortunately though, the group at the front seems to have slowed a little bit. Um, so moving up behind uh, Clint who is another Brit um, trying to find a line he was defending fairly well through these corners um, and meanwhile still got uh, Jurek behind very very close as well um, so Jurek goes for a bomb down here um, puts me off my line into the barrier um, but managed to regain control and get some element of control back on the truck. Um, these two vehicles here, um, Clint and uh, JF, uh, had some sort of incident and this is where for some reason Clint in front decided to start brake checking everybody behind um, so as to essentially ruin their race. It's incredibly malicious, he knew he was not going to win at this point. Um, and eventually he does pass the penalty line um, which means it goes it out and actually we could get on um, with our race um, last kind of um, 
big corner coming up of the race and I've got uh, Jurek behind me again so uh, this was kind of inevitable but off we go pushes me straight off the corner um, I'm shocked that there was not something to come out of the penalty system for that um, it was just a blatant <laughs> run um, and then there was just the last corner which there's uh, not a lot you can do from that point um, and there we go we settled into fifth so a um, little bit of a poor race all round in my opinion but thank you for watching and uh, if you're going to do this race um, be warned Thank you very much.